Bats are dying across North America. Nearly six million have been lost since 2007. The state of Maine is racing to come up with an answer. Experts are meeting today to take on a health crisis that's claimed nearly 90 percent of Maine's northern long-eared bats and little brown bats. Don Daler is at a cave in New Jersey looking at the fallout that could reach into your backyard. Don, good morning. Good morning. This is the entrance to the Hibernia mine in New Jersey. At one time, this was the largest hibernation spot for bats in the entire state. Up to 30,000 bats used to spend their winters in here. But at latest count, fewer than 400 are clinging to those walls. Most of these bats died from white nose syndrome, a fungal infection that is decimating the bat populations in this country. Come on, squeak. Squeak, he's a tiny little brown. He Jackie Cashmere has to hand feed this little brown bat every day. Good boy, Squeak. That's how you get fat, Squeaky. Squeak is one of 30 bats she's currently nursing back to health. Seems like every year he gets problems. Since 2009, hundreds of bats have been brought to the bat sanctuary she runs in Hunterdon County, New Jersey. They were all dying from a fungal infection called white nose syndrome. See all that light color? Yes. That's where it was, there were holes. Oh. And it's regrown. That's yeah. as much as it'll heal. So she's not going to be able to fly? Never, never. White nose syndrome kills bats two ways. It destroys the fragile tissue of their wings, making it impossible to hunt insects. And it causes so much discomfort while they're hibernating, it wakes them up, burning precious calories and forcing them outside in the dead of winter, where they die of starvation. This is the most devastating wildlife disease that I know of. Boston University grad student Aaron Wilder is trying to find out where it's going next. We can use this information to tell us how bat populations are connected and how white nose might move through the population. Scientists trace the problem to the Howe Caverns in New York State, where they believe in 2006 a tourist accidentally infected the cave with a fungus native to Europe. From there, the disease spread from bat to bat at a terrifying rate. It has now been found in 25 states. Just this month, Arkansas sealed its caves to try and stop the fungus. Bats can eat half their body weight every day. That's about 1,000 gnats and mosquitoes and flying bugs. And if you multiply that by at least 6 million fewer bats, that's billions of bugs that are not getting eaten. Many of these insects are crop pests uh, that cost farmers millions of dollars a year in insecticide applications. Steve Henry is manager of the Great Swamp Wildlife Refuge in New Jersey. Anything in there? He and his team have seen a drastic reduction in the populations of certain species of bats. Are we seeing the extinction of perhaps a couple species of bats? I think there are species of bats that are perilously close. I think they're going to be all endangered, extremely endangered, and that's the way it's going to be. I don't think they're going to come back in our lifetime. Because bats typically give birth to only one pup a year. Now, Kashmir says she has an effective treatment. It's a mild vinegar solution that actually kills the fungus. She believes that if that mild solution is sprayed in mines and caves where bats live, that it could stop this infection. But so far, Gail, no government agency has been willing to try. All Why right, not? Don. Charlie says, why not, Don? <laughs> it's just another example. We don't know why not. Yeah. They're still studying the problem, and they want to get a solution. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Don. I don't know. Bats just creep me out. All due respect to Jackie Cashman. God bless her for the work she's doing, but I'm totally creeped out. Yeah. Thank you, Don.